America right now comes to Tanzania, comes to Ghana, comes to Zambia with 16 million. And guess what? 16 million only for Zambia. The 16 million, ask me what is it for? What is it for? For human rights. Across the river, China and Russia coming to South Africa. Ask me for what? For what? For a military training and skills sharing of security. So the Americans are more interested in a transgender, homosexual agenda around the world. They will invest their money and give you money to protect human rights. Russia and China are coming with weapons and militarization strategies so that we can protect ourselves. So I want to say this very loud and clear to the Americans. Continue on your transgender agenda. <laughs> Stay there. Leave us to do politics on the other side. Because what we need right now is not a minority human rights activation. What we need is a societal transformation. And for you as Americans to think that we really envy that when you have an anti-lesbian, anti-gay, LGBT principle, then tourists will drop. Let me correct that once and for all, Smooth. And cut and clip this, and it must be loud and clear. Are you saying to me that all the tourists are gay? And when you hear that this is a non-gay zone, tourism will suffer. We are coming toward the end of the final kingdom on earth, seen by Daniel and seen by John the disciple, recorded in Revelation before the Most High's kingdom is set up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We are in the last days. Anyone can see things are falling apart if they so choose. So let's start by reading Daniel chapter 7 verse 3. And four beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. Verse 17. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. It's a must that this will happen. The Most High's kingdom must be established here on earth. He already rules in heaven, but on earth rulership belongs to men. Rulership on earth at first belonged to the children of Israel. But because they failed at executing the laws of the Most High, he gave the rulership of the earth to the four beasts for the intent and for the purpose of dishing out punishment to the children of Israel. Let's read Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 15. Lo, I will bring a nation upon thee from far, O house of Israel, says the Most High. It is a mighty nation, it is an ancient nation, a nation whose language thou knowest not, neither understand what they say. Their quiver is an open sepulcher, they are all mighty men, and they shall eat up thine harvest and thy bread, which thy sons and thy daughters should eat. They shall eat up thy flocks and thy herd, they shall eat up thy vines and thy fig tree. They shall impoverish thy fenced city, where thou trust with the sword. Nevertheless, in those days, says the Most High, I will not make a full end with you. And it shall come to pass when you shall say, Wherefore does the Most High our Elohim all these things unto us? Thou shalt answer them, Like as you have forsaken me and served strange gods in your land, so shall you serve strangers in a land that is not yours. When it says, Nevertheless, in those days, I will not make a full end with you, it means that he won't kill us all. We are the survivors of the one that the Most High did not kill. So when people ask why we suffer, we should explain to them, because we forsook the Most High, he has also forsaken us. So he has sent these four beasts to rule over us. The four beasts are four different bloodlines that have ruled over the earth and over the children of Israel. The purpose of these bloodlines is to be cruel to the children of Israel. But the important thing to also understand is that each beast has a limited time to reign. And we are sitting at the end of the last beast. The question is, how will this happen? The answer is, how did the Most High bring down the other empires in the past? And how did he bring down the children of Israel? Let's read Jeremiah chapter 19 verse 7. And I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place. And I will cause them to fall by the sword of their enemies and by the hands of them that seek their lives. And their carcasses will I give to be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. The Most High destroyed Israel by voiding their council. He attacked their decision making. That's his MO. Even now, the things that we could do to reduce or alleviate our captivity 
we don't do and we will never do them because the Most High is destroying our counsel. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 17. Therefore the Most High shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall they have mercy on the fatherless and on the widows. For everyone is a hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaks folly. All this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. The Israelites today are hypocrites and evildoers and love foolishness. To this day he has not taken his hands off us because we have not changed. But now if you watch the news and listen to what the man in the beginning of this video said, it's obvious the decision making of the final kingdom is a little off. Their rationale or their decision making doesn't make any sense. The only conclusion you can come to is that the fourth beast end is coming. Their bloodline has ruled for a long time, but it is now winding down. So let's read Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 33. For thus said the Most High of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, The daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her, yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Notice it says the daughter of Babylon. We are in the fourth beast, or the daughter of Babylon. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 7. How be it, he meaneth not so, neither does his heart think so. But it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. The Most High's intent and his purpose is to destroy the final kingdom and the nationalities or the bloodlines that have befriended her by destroying their decision making. Isaiah chapter 19 verse 2 And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fall in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers, and they that have familiar spirits and to wizards. So we see that the Most High destroys people by destroying their counsel. He used the same operation to destroy Egypt. The Most High destroyed or voided their counsel. Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 7 Concerning Edom, thus saith the Most High of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. The Antichrist, Edom, and the daughter of Babylon are the same. They are the ruling bloodline. They are the final kingdom or the final beast before the Most High sets up his kingdom that will never be destroyed. He says in Jeremiah, his plan is to destroy their decision making. He asks, is their wisdom vanished? Depend on being believing in the police authority and the elites have done everything they can possibly do to discredit legitimate police authority by calling it racist. We are seeing civilization break down in front of our eyes. And they have literally taken a wrecking ball to the entire economy. China is on the march and your president, Joe Biden, he's building sandcastles and sitting on a beach in Delaware. But first, there is a reason that Americans are fleeing New York, New Jersey, California, Illinois. I don't care about politics and I don't belong nor care about any political party. I'm only showing you that things are falling apart and it's time more than ever to seek the Most High. First Chronicles chapter 16 verse 11. Seek the Most High and His strength. Seek His face continually. Remember His marvelous works that He hath done, His wonders and His judgments of His mouth. O you seed of Israel His servant, you children of Jacob His chosen ones. Seeking his face will save you. You will need Yah's help as things really fall apart. Joel chapter 2 verse 11. And the Most High shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Most High is great and very terrible. Who can abide it? Which means who can live through it? Therefore also now says the Most High, Turn ye unto me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Most High your Elohim. For he is gracious, and merciful, and slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Commandments now, or suffer later. Turning to the Most High with all your heart means obedience to the commandments. 2nd Ezra chapter 11 verse 37 And I beheld, lo, 
as it were a lion chased out of the wood. And I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle and said, Hear thou, and I will talk with thee. And the highest shall say unto thee, Are not thou it that remainest of the four beasts who are made to reign in my world, that the end of the times might come through them? The highest has also looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and the abominations are fulfilled. And therefore appear no more, thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body, that all the earth may be refreshed and may return being delivered from thy violence, that she may hope for the judgment and the mercy of him that made her. All of creation is waiting for the Most High's judgments to be back in the earth. Romans 8.22 we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. The earth and the world is suffering until the Most High's judgments are back. The purpose of this video is to show that things are falling apart and how close we are getting. But it's not too late at this juncture to learn and to obey the Most High's commandments. But time is running out.